Hello and welcome to yet another EVE tutorial. This time we are going to be doing a scanning. Uh, I will be doing scanning wormholes specifically, simply because I'm currently looking for one to go live in, but I will teach you how to scan sites down and these skills will apply to all sections of space. There is no actual difference. The only th uh, thing we're doing here is managing wormholes as well. Anyways, so uh, I've already scanned this site down. As you can see, I have some bookmarks telling me where particular worms holes uh, lead to. So let us, actually before we do that, uh, I should tell you this is done on one of those 20 day free characters. Um, I trained up a scanning alt to do some PI. So this is a very low SP character and this is the fit you want to use with such a character. Uh, assistors Core Probe Launcher, not the expanded one, with eight Assistors Core Scanner Probes. Uh, you've got to bring some spares along as well. The Covert Ops Cloaking Device 2, obviously, which is obviously why I'm all invisible right now. Mediums, you want to put the pinpointing and range finding arrays in just to uh, increase your strength of the scanning, so it makes it a lot quicker and easier for you to pin down sites. Micro Warp Drive, in case you need to get through a bubble or something like that. The small gravity capacitor upgrade, I put the Tech 2 on, the scan increases the strength of your scan probes. Uh, some more core stabilizers in case you get caught, and a uh, co-presses because obviously it's quite tight on the CPU. Anyways, let us enter a new unscanned wormhole. Let's go to this one. Okay, so the very first thing we want to do once we go through a unscouted wormhole Okay, first thing is you right click on the way you came in So, I hope this will push the talk Save location uh, Our convention is four arrows and home, or three in this case, and home. This will tell us, or everybody who put the bookmark for, that if we go through that wormhole, it will eventually lead home if you just keep following bookmarks called Arrow Home. You know, you'll eventually get there. So, now I've done that, we need to pick a. So, first of all, we'll do a D scan just to make sure there's nothing on. That will kill us, a chip right, cool, whatever. Uh, I'm not really going to do a lot of D scanning because we're not looking for targets, so that's alright. Pick a celestial, warp to it at not zero. Drop your probes. Cloak. Uh, and then send your probes off, so launch spread formation and analyze just so they get away from the wormhole. Um, I always pick the sun to warp to. This is from a previous version of scanning where it was good to be central to the system. It's irrelevant now, as long as you warp to a celestial and are cloaked, you'll be relatively safe. Do not walk to a moon, however, because a POS could be there and that would be bad news. Anyways, so now we are in a safe spot. We are cloaked. Our probes are out and spread, so they cannot be pinpointing where they came from, which way we came through. We have bookmarked our way home. Uh, so now we are ready to find out what kind of system we are in. So let us go to the browser. You go to wormholepasta.gg. Trusted, options, trusted sites. What this means is, I hit this little uh, circular arrow formation and it will pull up and tell us what kind of wormhole I'm in. I'm in a C2 wormhole with a high sec and a C3 static. Uh, and this tells us some sort of combat activity that's been around. Um, again, this doesn't really pertain to us right now because we're not looking to fight. Uh, we don't live here, we don't live nearby. I'm simply interested in what's actually in this system. So. You go to the solar system map. This is F10. Uh, you probably default to the star map. So you simply hit the star solar system map on the world map control panel. Now, each of these uh, blue orbs represents a probe. So I can actually hover over these probes and you see this is uh, how they're currently arranged. This is called the spread formation. I just do it uh, to get a vague idea of what's going on in the system. 
As you can see, there are a lot of sites centralised in the middle, so that is where I will begin. Uh, what these mean is, whoops, um, a sphere like this means that there is a signature somewhere within that entire sphere. A ring, is it a 2D ring like some of these, means the signature is somewhere around the edge of the ring. Um, sites usually congregate around celestials, as in, you know, uh, moons or planets or something like that. Uh, I'll go into further detail on that later, but for now let's just try and find some of these easy things that are clustered in the middle. You want to go to launch pinpoint formation. As you can see it now congregates the probes uh, two on top and then four arranged around the uh, circumference. Uh, I'll get this out of the red stuff so you can actually see it properly. So as you can see there's sort of this middle section which every probe uh, has an influence on. So this is why it's pinpoint formation, whatever's in the middle of this uh, area affected by all probes means uh, you'll get a much more effective scan. Now by holding ALT uh, you can click and drag to spread information or obviously again to make it smaller. Uh, if I were to do this sort of formation the middle section obviously is much smaller but it is much much more precise because there's a better spread of probes focused on this particular point. Uh, if I were to however do something like this then it's a very very inefficient scan because obviously the probes um, don't have many unique signatures because they all sort of reach around the same area. We'll go back to pinpoint. Uh, so yes, ALT uh, controls the spread of the probes. Once you release ALT and you have the singular cube again, the arrows will move around for you, you know, dry it up down, all that sort of stuff. Uh, if I were to move it all the way over there, you'll see my camera's a bit, you know, I can't really see where it's pointing at. If you double click on the cube, the camera focuses on the probes again. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get them in the middle. So what I'm going to do here is, since it is such a tight formation, uh, I can put my 4 AU scan in the middle and it sort of reaches some of them, but what I will do, I will highlight all my probes, I will right click, I will set the scan range to 8 AU, and then I will make it a better, like that. So you can dictate the range of your probes, uh, the longer the range each probe has, the weaker the strength it returns a signal of, um, but this should give me a good idea of a couple of sites, you know, hopefully. Well, it gave me a gas site. Uh, we'll be ignoring that for now, uh, so just right click on that and ignore result. Because uh, we've got an orange hit and said it's a gas site, I don't care about gas sites, and there are plenty of other things for me to find for you later on. So now we have a lot of these dots. Um, I will focus on this one first. So, it, the, the dot means it's somewhere in that vicinity, so we go back down to a 4 you scan, we center our probes on the dot, uh, that's close enough. Always make sure you're looking from different angles, so you uh, look on top and then you look from the sides, just to make sure, because obviously space is 3D, so it might look lined up, but it could actually be quite a far way off. Another gas site, alright, so we'll ignore that, and we'll pick the next sucker. So these are relatively weak signals, so we will... Actually, that's probably where we came from. Let's just double check that. Yes, so that's a wormhole, but... As you can see, the wormhole we came from is marked as unstable wormhole. It also shows our bookmark. A yellow hit means you are very, very, very close. Um, it would be unreasonable to expect this to be a different wormhole considering how close it is to our currently book wormhole. Uh, so let's just ignore that one. Uh, wormholes and gas sites are usually quite easy to get a hit on, as in the um, the strength of scanning you need to put onto them is usually quite lower than, like, say, a data site, for instance. Um, 
So if you're really just skimming for wormholes, if you are struggling to get a hit on something, it's more than likely that it's not a wormhole, so you can probably just skip it. Um, we will move on from that middle formation for now, and I'll show you something else. As I said, anything uh, within, oh sorry, this sphere means the site could be anywhere within, uh, you know, the whole area. But I also said that sites are usually congregated around a celestial. As you can see, both of these only really approach one celestial. So if I use my pinpoint and I move it over the celestial, I'll aim it a little towards the middle because uh, because the smaller one, you know, is only just kissing the edge. Zoom in, get a bit. Look. Okay, so we just to get down a little bit. And bang, we got, broke it down from two spheres to... Let's um, let's actually find this data site. So we have an orange here on the data site, so we know it's very, very close to that uh, particular marker. So we can bring our scan range all the way down to 1AU. We can then bring our probes on top of them. Again, we hold Alt, we shrink it to about there. I reckon that'll be good enough. And there we go. You see, the signal percentage has changed from a percentage to an arrow. We can now walk to this side. Um, I'm going to want to bookmark this, so I will walk within 70. Hold my cloak. Oh, it's an angel site. That's weird. Okay, so the reason you want to walk to these sites at range is because they all have sleepers in them. Except for this one, because it's an angel site for some reason. So I guess that's something new that you can actually have NPC rat sites. By the way, here we are. We have now found our first site. Congratulations. Uh, if we don't want to do this site, but we've already got a hit, why don't we bookmark it for our fellow court mates? Maybe one of these guys wants to run it. So, you say bookmark, you note the first three letters of the signature ID, so TRZ, put an arrow, and this is a data site, so data. Done. So now if you go to our bookmarks, we have a way home and we have a data site mapped out. Uh, the reason we put the first three uh, I, numbers of the sorry letters of the signature ID is because if someone else comes along and they say you know this whole list of stuff, um, they can quite easily go okay TRZ is a data site all right so I don't need to scan that down and they can ignore it, get rid of it. That way they only scan down things that haven't already been scanned down. Uh, also you'll see there's anomalies I forgot to mention. These uh, sites you don't need to scan down, you just need to open up your probe launcher, but we're not interested in anomalies, so we'll get rid of that. Now I want to find... I want to find a weak 2 dot hit. Alright, how far I try this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for this Celestial, uh, which should catch both of these uh, spheres two sites, but what I'm going to do is deliberately make a weak scan, we'll go up to 16, hopefully this will give me a weak hit. Try again, and if I can't get what I want, I'll just have to explain it to you. Nah, 
Okay. So what can happen is you can get not one red dot, but two uh, for the same site. Now, a little trick of the uh, trade is it is pretty much always the red dot that is furthest away from the center of your probes. And it's usually quite close to where that second red dot is. So if you have one of these red dots here and another one which will appear, say, over here somewhere, I would drop my scan range down to about 2 AU, maybe even 1 if I'm feeling confident. I would go straight over that dot, and then I would run a scan. And it should give me at least an orange hit. Um, it'll save you... It'll take the guesswork out. It's pretty much always the furthest one. Which is a handy little trick. Um, so I think we're good. Just uh, scan this down, see if it's a wormhole. So, what we do if it's a wormhole... Um, if it's a wormhole, what you do is you do the same bookmarking convention. Uh, so the first two letters, followed by the arrow. Now, you're not going to be able to identify the wormhole... Oh, there we go. Fuck it all up. Oh, what do you know? Okay, so I've got two orange hits, but uh, this one's furthest away. So let's drop down to one. That's the first orange hit I've ever had. Yep, see, further side, I narrowed it down and I pin pinpointed it and job done. When you're bookmarking wormholes, never bookmark from this screen here. Uh, it can cause people to warp in at zero and actually land further off the wormhole, which obviously if they're a hauler and they're trying to get all their valuable loot out, uh, you've got to make them ship it the bed, so, you know. It can be funny, but it's not a good idea. Alright, so we're actually going to go through this wormhole. I've decided we are done here, so we can recover our probes, click the button, and they're immediately in our cargo hold. We don't need to break cloak or anything, just don't forget to do that. If you do, you can come back and recover probes anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Okay, so we have a wormhole. Right-click, we show info. Leads into unknown parts of space, this means it's a wormhole up to C3. I believe. If it's a dangerous uh, unknown part of space, it's a C4+. Plus. We're getting to decay, probably what else another day means it has oh, upwards of 16 hours. I think it is a long time anyway. Uh, the only one you want to worry about is when it's head, it is near its end of life. That means it has less than 4 hours. And it's not less than 4 hours from when you saw it, it's from when it ticked over, so it could be 2 minutes. Not yet had a stability significantly disrupted. That uh, each wormhole has a mass limit of how many ships can go through it. Again, uh, not had a stability disruption is a good thing for us. Only the smaller ships can pass through this wormhole, so I believe we can only take from this. Uh, so what we do now is we bookmark the wormhole from here. Do not bookmark it from our probe screen. Uh, same convention. Q X Q arrow and C. We don't know. Okay, so let's go into it. Quickly break cloak, pulse my wall, my wall. Quickly. If you're sitting outside a wormhole and you're scanning it out, so you need to, you want to stay in the system, but you want to bookmark the wormhole, always warp in at a significant range, so you know, no one can come through and accidentally bump into you and break your cloak. Also, you don't want to land too close to the wormhole itself because that would break your cloak as well. Right, so. Through the wormhole, find it, there it is. Save location, home. Done. We'll do a quick uh, wormhole pass to while we're still holding our wormhole cloak. It's just like going through a gate, you get the 30 second timer or something to hold a cloak. Okay, so it's a class 2 with a high second and a C1. So we can then do the same thing we did last time, just you know, go through, scan everything down again. Uh, but what we want to do first is you can either access it from people and places and remember it was QXQ. So we will edit the bookmark. 
and it was a C2. Notice how there is already two other C2s. So what I should have done, in fact, what I'll do now is we have C2A, and I'll change these to uh, edit location to C2B, edit location to C2C. Now the reason I didn't do this because I wasn't thinking about it. Um, uh, when we actually have combat operations, obviously we're not going to be in combat operations in this wormhole, that's what passed my mind. But combat operations, if someone gets attacked in a wormhole, we want to be able to go, okay, go to C2C. Uh, we don't want it to be X L X Q, you know, just... Alright, everyone, we need to go to C2C. That's why we have the extra letter for similar wormholes. I wouldn't worry about doing that for data sites, though. Just call it data, or relic sites, or gas sites even. Uh, that's fine. By the way, I think that's about it. We um, we went into a wormhole. We made sure we bookmarked our way home. Uh, we found some sites. We bookmarked them correctly in the end with the wormholes. Uh, and yes, we learned how to scan. So the only thing left is for you to go out and try it. Good luck and fly safe.